well, that was that was a flashback to color rush talk, I guess is what we'll call that. But moving on to our current stuff that we've actually got going on in the NFL now. So a little bit of news here, and uh, one of the ones that popped off right away that we all noticed immediately was Stefan Diggs was wearing a shut F7, and I don't know how I feel about it because that right there is the Diggs that we know and love in an, in a yeah. uh, speed flex. This is the yeah, new so, one. Yeah, this is weird. Um, Stephon Diggs weird. warmed up in the speed flex. You guys see a picture of him wearing his usual Riddell speed flex setup, the helmet he's been wearing forever. I mean, oh, that was in warm going back to, so yeah, in warm-ups, he wore the speed flex. Oh, I didn't know that. So I don't know what, like he's been wearing the speed flex for forever. Like you go back to the Minneapolis miracle where he threw his helmet. That was a speed flex. He's been in the speed flex yep. for yep. forever. And, and then before that, it was the speed. I've never seen Diggs in a shut helmet. And then for whatever reason, this week he pulled up in a shut F7 come game time. What do you guys That's think? So Why weird. do you guys think he was in an F seven? I like was it wasn't related to the weather because it wasn't good weather, but like it doesn't make any sense. Why did he do this in the middle of the season? I couldn't even begin to tell you why players do this because it happens sometimes where you will see a player switch from a helmet to helmet in the middle of it. Like you said, you yeah. guys did the um, before I came on the podcast. You were talking about Sam Howell switching out switching out of his axiom to the speed flex, but that was. Yeah. related to the visor and stuff like that this is just yeah. yeah this is different i don't know i can't come up with like a legit reason to why he would have switched unless unless the visor was like stuck on to the face mask or something but that wouldn't happen i can't think of a reason he would just switch to the f7 for game time in the middle of the season it's week 12 he's worn a speed flex for like five years in a row and then some random week 12 sunday night monday night whatever he switches into an f7 doesn't make any sense. Could it be anything based on his speed flex and the weather and the rain, uh, depending on his model of speed flex related to like the pad freezing up? Because, you know, like there's, for example, there's the um, there's the precision fit, precision fit diamond. They have different types of padding. Some use air, some yeah. use the 3D printed structure. I don't know if it would be that, though. I, I don't, you know, could it be waterlogged somehow? I don't know. It It I is funny, know. though, literally. All of us instantly. First time I saw it, it just looked so funny in the group chat. Yep, all yeah. saw it exactly. It, just, it looks so wrong on him. I I can't really describe it. So many people, you know, where the F seven looks fine, but Diggs, he's he should not be in the F seven. It it just looks wrong on him. It looks so bad. There, yeah, there's a list of like wide receivers that wear, you know, a speed flex, and they are speed flex guys. You don't. Like, yeah, to me, that list is Stefan Diggs, Debo Samuel, yeah. and DK Metcalf. Those are like my top three when I think wide receivers Ooh. wearing speed flexes. Because yeah. I said, I go DK, I went CD, CD. I had yeah. CD Lamb in my head, I had um, AJ Brown. But in he my switched, head. yeah, AJ Brown. Yep, yeah. Wait, there's somebody we else could, we could rattle yeah. them off. Didn't, didn't CD switch from? An F seven too. Yeah, he start he wore an F seven in college a little bit with the Cowboys and then switched to the speed flex. Yeah, you know who else I don't know why back? we're so know. stunned about it. It's just weird. Who? Like it doesn't make any sense for him to switch week twelve in the middle of the, like it just doesn't make any sense. My only thought is like, but he but an F seven speed flex, like he just lost it. <laughs> So like he gave it to the equipment. A Philly staff, fan jumped the fence and took off with it. Yeah, maybe somebody st- like like my only thought is he he went to give the helmet to the equipment staff to take off that tinted visor because you can't wear that in the game, and they lost it or they broke it or it was stolen. I can't think of another reason why he would come out in the F seven. Doesn't it just doesn't make sense? If that's if that's the case, I think there would have to be an F seven on the sideline with his name on it as a backup. Then, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is really puzzling. I, I can't wait to see him come out this next is... week and see if he's still in the F7 or if he like found his speed flex. It's this so is weird. an inside job from Shut. No, They're doing it on purpose because they knew people were gonna. They knew yeah, people Shutt... were gonna talk about it. <laughs> Shut sent a rep down to steal his speed flex and force him into an F7 for this primetime game. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, they practically held him down and forced it on his head before he went out on his first series. Yeah. That'd be crazy. But <laughs> you guys yeah, are going to no, get us to trouble. just looked wrong. 
How are we going to get us in trouble? Talking I'm going to get a text after this. Oh, Shut oh, we are so sorry. Bleep? We didn't mean it. We didn't mean it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's be this real. Is all, <laughs> it's all hypothetical, um, guys. We're just hanging out. Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> um, although we don't have on our list here of things to talk about. How can we for, how did we forget that this happened? Um I'm gonna share my screen really quick. We 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 didn't even remember to put this on our thing. And this is this is like our world that people were diving into, like with questions that like we are the source on. How did we not put on our thing to talk about Christian McCaffrey's helmet malfunction and everyone oh, yeah. losing their mind over nothing? Oh yeah. I yeah, honestly the, two um, screwdrivers to the side it. of the head. Yeah, I still okay. don't know. You didn't see this? I saw it the wasn't... picture, but I didn't really get like it just looks like they're replacing the face mask or something. Like I didn't do anything for that's me. It's, that's, the story. that's what it was. You guys know? It's oh, it's so stupid. Um, at least from our perspective, Ouch. and it's like people don't know this world, so they're like, "Oh, what's happening?" Right? Um, here, let me get let me get a helmet. I saw the graphic, but I didn't really know anything. I didn't know the story behind it. Okay, so basically, all that happened is like you can see the photos of like the screwdrivers on the side of his head, right? Yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, but what? Literally all it is was after Christian scored a touchdown, the back bumper on his helmet here. So this bumper, the Riddell, well, this one says Riddell underneath it. The wraps around. It's connected through these top rivets, mm -hmm. through the padding and to the liner. This whole piece came off. Pop rivets failed, wherever these rivet type things are. And this whole thing came off. So on the back of his helmet where it would be white was just more shell. So they had to get him a new helmet um to basically fix it on the sideline and then all that's happening in that photo is because he likes the old style riddell hard cup chin strap with the three um here, i'll show you again Doo -doo. he just likes this chin strap old school riddell extra deep hard cup chin strap just a super standard one standard not even standard anymore because they've they've like upgraded these in, in like recent um but basically he just likes that chin strap it's whatever um, all those screwdrivers, like people think they're like attaching the face mask or whatever. They're not attaching the, f oh Jesus. I don't do that all the time. But sometimes I do. Um, but the face mask attaches with, um, the quick releases, right? These little things here. Those are things there. It's not the face mask because they're turning screws. All they're doing is they're adding that chin strap with his Riddell strap locks. So see on the side here, there's the two screws for the chin strap to kind of slip under. That's all they're doing. They're literally just taking his normal chin strap, putting it on a new speed flex, and just tightening the screws on the side so his chin strap fits. Yeah. Um, it's like standard stuff. Now, to us, it's standard, and it's like, oh, they're just putting his chin strap on, and like we can't see it from the angle that it's putting on the strap locks to know that, like, oh, like they're using the wrong tool to switch out the face mask or anything. But like, also, the face mask he uses as an SF2EGSW, it's like the most standard face mask that you can use or get. Like, so his helmet, they probably just grabbed another speed flex, pumped some air in the side to make it fit his head, put his chin strap on it, and sent him back on the field within, by the time, again, scored the touchdown to next drive. Yeah. Quick switch. But yeah, there was all these posts about like, oh, like, look at like what Christian's going through. He's a robot. Yeah. Like getting a side of his head fixed and stuff. And I was like, give me a fucking break. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just. People were making a really kind of odd, oddly big deal about it. The yeah, memes, I, like, the memes like were I funny said, too. Like I said, I saw it and I didn't even like think twice. That's why I didn't put it in here. But I, I, I guess a lot of people don't understand. So it makes sense. Yeah. And like in our world, like I. Again, I didn't bat an eye. I see two screwdrivers and I instantly know they're fixing the strap locks and not anything else. Especially yeah. after we both, me and Evan both saw the back bumper missing when he scored mm -hmm. the touchdown. Yeah. And so like it just made sense. I was like, oh, they just put a new they grabbed him a new helmet, threw his chin strap on it, and he's good. But everyone else was like, Oh, like look at this guy. He's a fucking robot. And I was like, Shut <laughs> up. Like it's the Iron Man suit up scene. Yeah, like literally <laughs> I was like, Oh my god, like but again, people don't get the world and like, I get it. We're not going to shit on people for not understanding. Like, especially when the fact in the photo, like you can't even see the strap lock, you just see the screwdriver. So it's like, unless you know this stuff, but uh, you, you know, like sometimes like broadcasts and stuff with little things where they make it into like this big spectacle and it's yeah. frustrating. 
Well, with a game they like do that, be doing that, they had to look to the sidelines for something entertaining, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. 